Urinary tract infection is a very common infection of the urinary system which happens when bacteria often from skin or rectum enter the urethra. The largest group of patients with urinary tract infection is adult women and studies have shown that one in five adult women experience this condition. The incidence of urinary tract infection in women tend to increase with increasing age. So guys, welcome back to yet another episode of Med Surge Mentor. And today, let's see this condition, urinary tract infection in detail. Urinary tract infection is defined as an infection in any part of the urinary system, which includes kidneys, bladder, ureters, and urethra. Etiology of urinary tract infection. The most common bacteria found to cause urinary tract infection is E. coli. Other bacteria can cause UTI, but E. coli is the culprit about 90% of the time. Common risk factors of urinary tract infection are female anatomy, sexual activity, certain types of birth control like diaphragms, menopause, urinary tract abnormalities, blockage in the urinary tract, a suppressed immune system, catheter use or recent urinary procedures, and pregnancy. Pathophysiology of urinary tract infection. Due to etiological factors, bacteria invade and replicate at the periurethral mucosal wall, which leads to inflammatory reaction. Then, the bacterial colonization causes ascending infection towards kidney. This results in infection of the renal parenchyma. Gradually, as the condition worsens, there is tubular obstruction and damage causing interstitial edema. Finally, it results in acute kidney injury. Commonly seen clinical features of urinary tract infection are pain in the lower abdomen, pelvic area and lower back, a strong persistent urge to urinate, burning sensation while urinating, passing frequent small amount of urine, urine that appears cloudy, red, bright pink or cola colored, strong smelling urine, nausea and vomiting, and fever. There are mainly three types of urinary tract infection and they are cystitis, which is the inflammation of the bladder, pyelonephritis, which is inflammation of the kidneys, and urethritis, that is inflammation of urethra. Diagnostic measures done to rule out urinary tract infection are urine analysis, urine culture, ultrasound, cystoscopy, and CT scan. Complications of urinary tract infection often occur as a result of untreated infection. The risk is also high in people with underlying kidney disorders, diabetes, or diseases affecting immune system. Complications of urinary tract infection include recurrent infections, permanent kidney damage, stricture or urethral narrowing, bladder dysfunction or overactive bladder, sepsis, and increased risk of preterm birth and low birth weight in pregnancy. Next is management of urinary tract infection. Commonly used antibiotics are nitrofurantoin, sulfonamides, amoxicillin, cephalosporins, trimethoprim, doxycycline and quinolones. 
Important points to keep in mind in order to prevent urinary tract infection are drink plenty of fluids, avoid alcohol, caffeinated drinks and spicy foods, try to urinate immediately before and after sex, avoid potentially irritating feminine products, use the water-based lubricant during sex, and avoid tight-fitting clothing. Some more preventive measures are switch to cotton undergarments, drink cranberry juice, always wipe from front to back to avoid bacterial contamination, practice good personal hygiene, use a heating pad, and avoid scented products like scented pads or tampons. Nursing diagnosis for patients with urinary tract infection are acute pain related to infection of the urinary tract, impaired urinary elimination related to frequent urination and urgency, impaired thermoregulation hyperthermia related to inflammatory response, activity intolerance related to the inflammatory process, impaired sleeping pattern related to nocturia and pain, and deficient knowledge regarding disease condition. Nursing cares for patients with urinary tract infection are assess the client's description of pain, monitor WBC count and urine culture and sensitivity, apply a heating pad to the suprapubic area or lower back to relieve pain, administer analgesics or antispasmodics, Encourage the patient to increase the oral fluid intake. Instruct to avoid coffee, tea, spices, alcohol and sodas. Encourage the client to avoid frequently. Teach proper perineal hygiene. Use non-pharmacological techniques for pain management. And administer antibacterial agents as prescribed. So guys, today we have reviewed the condition urinary tract infection. It's a very common infection in any part of the urinary system which includes kidneys, bladder, ureters and urethra. Major risk factors are female anatomy, sexual activity, blockage in the urinary tract and catheter use. It can be managed by drugs like nitroferentine, sulfonamides, amoxicillin and cephalosporins. Hope this episode was useful and thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.